Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. We're back with Orbital Potato today, and this is actually our second go around at this cast. We'll chat a little bit about that in a minute, but hey, man. <laughs> oh, man. I am. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we tried recording this. My internet uh, didn't want to play ball, and now we're here with the stale jokes. We're going to have to say them a second time around because we've already said them, but nobody knows that we've said them. Well, oh. I'm sure we can stay interested in ourselves. I doubt any, either one of us is a true narcissist, <laughs> but we'll do our best to fulfill the role today so that we can get this out to you. <laughs> that's, 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 that's good. That's good. I'm, I'm happy not being a narcissist. All right. Anyway. All right. What, what is the strategy for today? What okay. Gonna... So to rehash what we're doing in this game, I believe you said, well, I'll just tell my part. You can tell yours. I have gone Seraphim, which is contrary to what I have done in the past few games, and basically I am going for an early T2 rush. I'm going to mm -hmm. try to get some of those oh-so-lovely Ilshavas, which basically demolish any other form of T1 and T2 land, and try to bull them over a little bit later in the game this time. Hopefully we will not die very early. Well, you know what? I'm banking on not dying very early, to be honest. Uh, I want to be alive for as long as, as physically possible. Longer than the other guys, anyway. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, pretty much. I mean, let's let's just let's just admire this 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 glorious moment. Who is the highest score up there? Who do, who do you <gasps> see? It's Orbital Potato. That's right. That's right. Winner, winner. <laughs> Chicken dinner. <laughs> oh man, it feels good. It feels good. Oh, but I'm on the bottom of the scoreboard. How did that happen? You know how that happened? I built a power generator first. That is exactly how that happened. Did you? Okay. I did. Okay, I can dig that. Anyway, so to reiterate that. the pro tip early on, um, when we first started this, I asked Orbital Potato if he was watching his own replays because I was going to suggest that anybody who's watching this that wants to improve or is new to the game, one of the best things that you can possibly do is watch your own replays. Um, mm -hmm. And that is so that you can see where the other person was sending his units that got the better of you because obviously you want to learn from mistakes and then what the other person was doing that you were not that will let you expand and better your gameplay so honestly it's one of those things where you are your own best teacher or your your mistakes are your own best teacher kind of thing so yeah yeah all right I'm going to go up here and set up some point defense and some anti-air points up in the top area, like up here, okay. around there. Uh, is that is that okay? Is that the recommended thing to do, I guess? Um, let's see. My recommendation would actually be to not build point defense. Okay, because what, what do I do? Point defense uh, are stationary. So okay. you can go around point defense and then they don't do any good. So I would uh -huh. recommend building lots and lots and lots of tanks. Uh, it's typically, lots and lots of tanks. Typically how this goes. Um, when you have a choke point, like that one or this one, point defense can be of some use. But uh -huh. when you are talking about a wide open field like you've got in front of you, then there's really not a good way to block that off with point defense unless uh -huh. you use a bunch of walls. You can kind of get all of your wall sections in place and go that direction. Okay, I can I can sort of dig that. Okay, that can go down there. I'm gonna put down an anti-aircraft gun though, just because, hashtag banter. <laughs> no? Oh, no, I mutual killed, he, he, is, he expected it that time. He sent tanks because I sent a tank last time and my scout ah. Killed the engineer at the same time as he killed the scout. So, when I got the expansion denied, but I lost my raiding party. So, oh, that's, uh, that's a shame. Yeah, it happens. That's All right, I need to bite into some reclaim because I am running low on mass here. So, there right, we go. Okay, you know what? You go up here, and then I'm trying to build that. That there. Sorry, no, I'm I'm tryharding like a total boss right now. You, right, sir, have a bug problem. I can't do crap about that, unfortunately. Um, yeah, my resources are 
Overflowing again. Oh my goodness. See, I feel like I'm totally down with the the start of the game. It's just like the mid game that I have a real issue with. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go tier two. Because I literally need to get rid of my power somehow. <laughs> or my All mask. Right. Let's see, I am three quarters of the way on my T2 factory upgrade over here. Okay, sweet. So hopefully that will come online very, very quickly. And I'm actually going to send my ACU up to the north to help with the wide expanse of territory up here. I'm going to funnel all of my units to the south and right, I go will, that route. But my I will do the opposite. Here. I will do the opposite. I will push my ACU to the south and I will push my units to the north. Does that sound like a good plan? Um, you can if you wish, but since there's <laughs> choke points in the south, that's not really necessary. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm down with that. Okay, let's just get some stuff. Uh, you All know right, what? We do have an air problem, so be aware of that. I keep on forgetting to, to do this. I keep on forgetting to build, like, proxy factories that are just in other places, you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel that that was probably the worst way of describing that possible. All right, let's see. There. Great. Okay, that's fine. Let me get one of those, because why not? Resources seem to be plentiful at this moment in time. Okay, I've got tier two. What am I doing with tier two? Fantastic. On your ACU or a factory? On your factory, you are building factory. tanks. Lots factory. and lots of tanks. I can do that. Okay, heavy tanks. Give me some beautiful heavy tanks. Ah, right, so dang it. A T1 bomber's killing my tanks. Uh, just... Okay, okay. That's, uh, that's not a huge issue. No, not tanks too terribly huge, worse. but it is aggravating it's, nonetheless. It's annoying. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. It's annoying. All right. I am going to kill here. his mass extractor, though. So what all of you got going on over here? If you got, um, you are on all T1 mass extractors. No upgrades so far. And Indeed. A couple of extra factories going down. Are you overflowing mass? That is the question on everyone's mind at this moment. No, I am not overflowing mass. Phenomenal. I have endeavored not to do that. Uh, but I'm going to try and... Okay, come back, dude. All right, I'm going to try and push up a little bit to see what sort of a presence he's got up here because he's building he's building a little walled-off area up in the north. Yeah. Which is of slight concern to me. I do like the radar coverage. That is quite okay. brilliant. I'm I'm glad that you approve of that. All right, you know what? Commander, you get a gun. You get a gun upgrade. There we go. Do something productive. Everybody's happy. Tech 2. Oh my goodness. I've got loads of Tech 2 factories. It's fantastic. Well, I really don't have the economy to support them. Ah, problematic. Okay. Uh, okay, after you're done with that, go and build us a mass generator up there. Uh, I suppose I could push a little bit forward and try and... Try and harass him a little bit in the north. In fact, you know, stop building that. We don't need that. Okay. You just come back. Okay. 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 His ACU is approximately right there, and he has the ranged gun upgrade on his okay. Aeon Commander, and then you're gonna have a bit of a Mantis problem in the north. I would recommend you do have some T1 artillery's good, so you can take out that point defense there, and Quite it should try. not have any problem. I, I can certainly try. I mean, I'm not short of ambition, uh, but I've got a lot of factories, and oh, I always there's the ACU. Not a right. problem. Not a problem. If I may make a slight recommendation. Please do. The I'm all for. radar and anti-air turret right there. I would probably build those a couple more ticks apart. Because if a T1 bomber comes through and lays a bomb on either one of those buildings, it will also damage the other. No. The, That's a shame. 
lovely area of effect. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. just to kind of help not help endanger the... anything more than you have to. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I understand that. I can, I can sympathize with that sort of thinking. Um, all right. Do you have any? Do you have air? Is that a thing? I do you not. Have? I have a lot of anti-air, but I don't okay. have any actual air. So that is something. If you have extra eco, that would be useful. Because he is uh, T1 bombing the crap out of me at the moment. Okay, I've got a plan, alright? And my plan is as follows. Okay, you know what? You can right click into there. Maybe get a little bit of extra mass for us. You can right click into there. Alright, fantastic. So, basically, what I'm thinking is that I am going to perform a risky and silly drop into his northern little powerhouse up here. Tanks or, um... Uh, probably tanks. Pretty much anything, really. Uh, but I am... Slightly worried. That, okay, get these engineers back. Alright, push these units forwards. Would you happen to have yeah. any power that I could have? Yeah. Dude, how much do you want? Uh, full bar power. if you got it. Full bar of power. There you go. I feel like I'm such a nice guy sometimes. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm <laughs> such a darn nice guy. Probably too nice, in all honesty. Um, nah, you... <laughs> we all love nice people. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, yeah, no, how are you doing for power? Are you all okay? I am almost not? used up what you have, but there we go. No power stall. I am plus 270, and I have the gun upgrade now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to kind of ignore what's going on in the south here where he's pushing because I think I have enough units to handle it. I'm going to go with your tanks up in the north and let's try to kill White in a uh, collaborative effort up here. A collaborative effort. I like See it what I did there? You see what I did there? I, yeah, I know. You, you make me feel special about myself. That's very nice. You, you, you pretend like I'm going to be doing something. I mean, but you what... are doing something useful. You're going to be keeping my ACU from dying as I'm pushing up farther than I should. That's what's going to happen here. <laughs> I'm, I'm being a bullet sponge. Yeah, no, I totally am. <laughs> All, right, All right, so, so let's start shredding. Under attack. Oh, beautiful. All right. Seems to be working. Seems to be working. Oh, man. I'm helping. You I'm are. Member of, there we of go. The Got overcharge online. Gotta take out some tanks now. Do you need more power? If, if you need more power, I can do that. Nope. Oh I my goodness. Good. We're gonna wreck him. We're gonna wreck him, man. Me and That's you. That's it. Oh man. And he is out of here. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That feels so unbelievably All right. amazing. Recovery. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Do you have anti-air? You need to watch out. Do you have anti-air uh, there? No. Uh, he is not. gonna mercy me. Uh, okay, run uh, for the hills. Run right. for the hills. So, I'm going to um, scramble into here. You now have free reign for claiming all of that stuff. I will endeavor to do just that. And I would really love a little bit of units coming my way because I am feeling awfully lonely out here in the face of all of these tanks headed for me. Okay, you know what? I've got a, a bunch of units that are en route as we speak. I think I will be okay, though. You think You think so? Yes. The main thing we need now is some form of air. I've got some interceptors, but that's about it. There are multiple TAC missiles coming in now, so he has a TAC launcher somewhere, and I think he's going to kill my T2 factory. That he is. Well, that's a shame. That is a real shame, actually. Where's your Tier 2 factory? dead <laughs> okay okay all right i'm moving i'm moving forward with my massive amount of, of tanks and units and whatnot so i'm behind you all the way man his commander is over there all right i'm chasing down his commander if i can get in range i think i can kill him you reckon i think so i think he's dead we're actually gonna do this what <laughs> Don't, don't what? So surprised, please. There are tanks uh, to the north, if you don't mind, to try to intercept some of his stuff and not tangle my units up while I'm walking. All right, just head a little bit it. north. There you go. I'm on it. And we're good. Oh, man, he's going down so hard. There's nothing that he can do. 
there is absolutely nothing. With the overcharge of you and the... Just run the, with your units. Don't don't attack him. Just move in the direction that he's moving. Oh, okay. There, there he goes. Go. Oh, man. GG. That was Finished great. in 12 minutes. In 12 minutes? 12 minutes. How about that? <laughs> that was that was pretty good. That, was, that was dang good, if I do say so myself. There's the little nasty boogers. There were attack missiles up there. So I feel really bad because we did so little scouting. But <laughs> it it works. We made it work. <laughs> yeah, it did. It did. I'm surprised that it worked so fluidly. Yeah. So so what is your evaluation on this? Why did that work? That worked because um, green, that would be Aerosmith, I believe. I can't see the colors anymore. Green teched up and did not push on the bottom side. He had the okay. gun upgrade. He had the aggressive commander. He had as many units as I did, and he just sat on his side of the wall. And if you remember the first time we did a play session, we played on that water map, and the reason that I died was because – you weren't pressuring your opponent, so I got double yeah. teamed. Yeah. He did that to his teammate. He didn't put any pressure on me, and I was able to push my commander and a lot of my resources to the north. We double teamed white, wiped him out, and then there was pretty much nothing that he could do about it. That makes perfect sense, actually. Um, it's a shame we don't get to see what white built up, because I would have quite liked to see that. Well, I suppose we can see the... Uh, the ruined husk of what he, he did. but All it uh, was was your pretty standard Mantis spam. So, mm -hmm. honestly, he probably would have been doomed anyway because with you pushing <laughs> for T2 land, the pillars in groups, the heavy tanks, are just so uh -huh. much stronger than T1 when you get them yeah. in a group that I think you could have easily dealt with what he was throwing at you even if my commander hadn't been there. My commander just pushed it over the top to where instead of slowly beating him back, it was just an insurmountable force. So. Yeah, you know what? I, I would actually agree with that. The only thing that would have probably uh, been a little bit of a problem was the, the northern area and that point defense. But at the same time, if that could have been avoided, then, uh, then you know, I, re I reckon I could have probably probably taken him on by myself, although maybe that's a, a yeah. bit ambitious. Well, we'll I mean, know. I think your initial plan, you never did do the drop, did you? You were queuing it up. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can see on on the map I have one light air transport, a single transport that is ready to deploy the units if I had an extra two minutes. But no, I never did. Yeah. So that's the other thing. If you had dropped him, you would have had free reign on the top because that point mm -hmm. defense that was there couldn't attack you up there. So you could have dropped one tank, one T2 tank and a T1 engineer, use the tank to kill everything on the Mesa and the T1 engineer to build the mass extractors and you're done. And, you mm -hmm. know, you've claimed the territory. And then with, since you had some T1 artillery in your mix, the point defense was no issue. So you were, you were sitting yeah. in a really good position that game. Just from last week when we did this, uh, we played on the same map and that is a huge astronomical improvement. Like you did really, really well on that one. I yeah, not not to my own horn too much, but I feel that I I performed to a standard that I was really happy with. So uh, so yeah, I think everybody was a winner there. Yep. Apart, I will, apart from the other team, I will jump on that bandwagon. All right, that was a fun one. I think we're gonna wrap up this section here now. As I mentioned a couple of videos back, um, Potato and I are actually synchronizing our release schedule on this video. So when this video pops up, there's a link in the description to the second game, which we're about to dive into. I think it is going to be on Island Zero, if I'm not totally mistaken. So use that link, hop over to his channel, and we will see you guys over there. Bye.